Hello, I'm William. If you have any questions about tuberculosis or TB as it's often called, vaccines or clinical trials, you can just ask me. I'm here to help if you need anything. Thanks, William. I heard about this clinical trial for a vaccine to help prevent TB. I want to find out more about what's happening with research on TB and the trials. Sure, I'll tell you more. TB vaccine clinical trials help gather research about new vaccines to prevent TB. The only way a new vaccine can be developed is if it is tested on people. That way, we can track how people's bodies respond to the vaccine and whether or not it could protect them from the TB bacteria. This is how we test the vaccines to see if they are safe and if they work. So as you can see, we can only find a new, better vaccine if people are willing to participate in these trials. It's their own choice and they decide whether or not to join. Wow, it's really important work you are doing here. I know TB is a horrible illness. I will be glad if it is stopped. Yes, me too. TB is a disease caused by bacteria that spreads from one person who has the disease to others. TB is spread through the air, either by coughing, sneezing, talking, spitting, or even singing. TB is a problem everywhere in the world, but in some countries, like ours, TB is a very big problem. Last year, TB killed one and a half million people and made millions of people sick. We want to prevent more people getting sick from TB, and that's why we do research and clinical trials. We are researching and testing new vaccines to help make people immune against TB and prevent them from becoming sick. That's a lot of people. I can see why it's important to stop TB from spreading. And you say a vaccine can help prevent people from getting sick. How does a vaccine work? A vaccine helps your body build its own immunity against the TB bacteria. This way, your body can protect itself from TB. So if you ever come into contact with the bacteria, you have a much better chance of not getting TB and of staying healthy. In clinical trials, we test new vaccines to see if they will help people become immune to TB. If we can find a vaccine that works, millions of people could be protected against TB. That's amazing! Who usually takes part in these trials? Well, every trial is a little different. Because we are still trying out new vaccines, we need to test them on a lot of different people. Sometimes we need people who had TB before or people who never had TB. Some trials need people who may be HIV positive or HIV negative. Some are young or adults. But if someone joins, it's their own decision and they do it only after they have had the trial and the process fully explained to them and they understand what it means to participate. They can also leave the trial at any time. Okay, so where are these trials done? These trials are done all over the world. But it's especially important that we do these trials in places where there is a lot of TB, like here in our community. It's the best place to find out if the vaccine is safe and is working. And the sooner we get a new vaccine that works, the sooner we can stop TB from making our friends and family sick and millions of people all over the world. I'd really like to help. It would be amazing if I could be part of the research that finds a new vaccine to prevent TB. How long does a trial like this take? When someone signs up to take part in the clinical trial, they are helping not only the research for a new vaccine, but potentially the whole world. But vaccine trials may seem like they take a long time. Because TB could take a while to make you sick, we need to check your health for the duration of the trial to see if you become sick or not. It is very important that once you start the clinical trial, you're willing to take part until the whole trial is over. This helps to show if the vaccine can protect you from getting TB for a long time. Mm, it will be worth it in the end, even though it can take long. True. There are also other health benefits from being part of a clinical study. You get information about your health that could help you take better care of yourself. And you could find out if you have TB or are at a higher risk of getting TB. You might even learn some steps to prevent or treat TB. And you'll also help your community by taking part in the trial and helping to find a new vaccine. That sounds good. So you'd have a chance to take better care of yourself and help the community. But are there any health risks? There are always some risks that you need to be aware of in a trial. There could be some side effects because the vaccine is still in its testing phase. But like I mentioned before, 
When you are taking part in a trial, your health is always most important. Your health is checked and you'll be well informed about it. Because trials can take valuable time out of your day, you will be compensated. It's important to know that the TB vaccine itself cannot give you TB or HIV. But even when you are given the vaccine, you are still at risk of getting infected with TB or HIV in the real world. So you always have to stay safe and look after your health. That sounds all right, but will you need to draw my blood? To be in a TB vaccine trial, we have to draw some of your blood. We use it to figure out if you are able to join the trial and to check if you are healthy. We also use your blood to learn more about the vaccine and how your body reacts to it. This is about how much blood is collected. A few tubes, which hold about a teaspoon of blood each. Your body will replenish the blood within two days again. Sure, that doesn't seem so bad. In many studies, you may also get asked to volunteer to save a sample of your blood so it can be studied in future. That way, we learn even more about TB and the vaccines for future generations. Thank you, William. I understand much more about TB, vaccines, and clinical trials now. No problem. Creating a new TB vaccine takes a lot of hard work and relies on partnerships. We couldn't do this work without people who are willing to take part and the support of the community. I can now see why it's important to do research and to help in any way I can. Even if I can't take part in any of the trials, I'll support people who do and spread the word about vaccines and clinical trials that could maybe someday stop TB. That's great to hear. You know, TB kills many people each year, but TB can be stopped. Developing new TB vaccines are an important way to achieve that goal. The vaccines tested in clinical trials may be very important to the health of people all around the world, helping us learn more about TB and how to prevent it. Let's all work together to stop TB for the safety and health of all of us.